Hello and welcome back everyone. And fourth here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Marathi here, my Sith Sorceress. And where we last left off, we just started the second chapter of the Sith Inquisitor storyline where Darth Thanaton has declared that Darth Zash, with her defeat, all of her followers including the one who defeated her, must be killed as well. Basically, we're all going to get purged. We did learn a handy force technique, though, the force walking ability, where we are able to bind force spirits to ourselves and augment our power. And, unfortunately, to deal with Darth Phanaton, we're going to need as much power as we can get. And according to Zash, there is a Force Ghost on the world of Taris, which is where we're going right now. So, Taris is located in the seat of the Empire region. As a player of the Empire, obviously we started, we traveled to Balmora, while players of the Republic were at Taris doing what they need to do. Players of the Republic. Ah, let's see if it tells us. Yes, it does. Taris was once a city world, home to a planetary metropolis. Three centuries ago, however, it was bombarded by the great Darth Malik and left a toxic ruin. The years since have not been kind to Taris, as vegetation and animal life struggle to gain a foothold in shattered skyscrapers and inhabitants. The Republic began to recolonize Taris less than a decade ago, aiming to make it into a symbol of Republic hope and steadfastness. In response, the Empire is mobilizing troops and beginning a full-scale assault. Early reports speak of fierce resistance from the Republic, as well as natural hazards in the form of wildlife and the mysterious Rakul Plague. As I was saying, uh, while we were on Balmora, pushing back against the Balmoran resistance and securing it ever firmer in the grip of the Empire, players of the Republic were helping recolonize and expand the resettlement zone for the Republic. And now, time has passed since Chapter 1, and we are now going to be undoing the Republic's efforts. We are landing an invasion force, somehow bypassing the Treaty of Coruscant. I think it's a... Uh, the Treaty is somewhat tenuous right now, and a peace is definitely, definitely not going to last. And while we're here, players of the Republic are landing on one of the northern continents of Balmora, looking to push and assist the, sorry, well, say, push back the Empire by assisting the Balmoran resistance, whatever is left of it. So, let us be on our way. Zash, has your research turned up anything else on this terrorist ghost? Ni pate uvaro we san nan suare kanidene ak jas waluda is. Figures the old lady isn't around when we need her. Gina nakangan gisat. We can cope without her. What did she say about Terris? <laughs> Something about some Jedi investigating an old Sith ghost. Said she had a Sith on the planet looking into it. Helios Malice, I think. Surprised there's only one ghost. Story goes, some crazy Darth blew the whole planet to pieces while his own Sith were still on it. Not very practical, but it ain't my business. Anyway, I'd hunt out this Malice guy in the Imperial base and hope he has some answers. That definitely sounds like a good idea. Um, hmm. Why don't we take Andronicus with us? For a change. Oh, we need to do that while we're on the planet's surface. Now, 
a while. Pleasure, Master. I hope you're having an excellent day and feel no desire to deactivate me. I'm feeling that desire right now. <laughs> while the, a player of the Republic did have a dedicated spaceport while they were arriving on Taris, that spaceport is still firmly in the hands of the Republic right now. So, we need to dock the Fury at an orbital space station and take a shuttle down to one of the major Imperial outposts. To be fair, that's quite true for a lot of the planets we're going to be visiting from now on. A lot of them don't have their own dedicated spaceports. I'm unfollow. Hello again. Hello again. We have been level sync to level 37, which is fine. Oh, speaking of, um, Andronicus, should we play with your armor a little? We probably should. I forgot I was going to do this in my own time. Um, hmm, maybe the Bold Hellion set. I picked it up for a potential smuggler, let's play. Anything else jumping out at me? Ah, uh, sure, why not? There you go. Looking somewhat air. Uh, I'd say better armored anyway. Right, yep. Uh, there's plenty of people on Taris right now. Could I switch my instance? No. Right, okay. Not a problem. Headed to Taris, my lord? Let me clear a shuttle for you. And please, forgive the delay. The planet hasn't seen this much action since Darth Malak occupied it centuries ago. Now that the Republic's rebuilding their shattered cities, the Dark Council is determined to destroy the planet once and for all. Do we have the Republic on the defensive yet? I haven't seen the latest reports myself, I'm afraid. If you're ready to head to Taris, your shuttle's cleared for launch. I'm all set. I'll tell Imperial Command you're en route. Speak with Captain Hellard if you wish to join the fight. Okay. So we wish to assist the Empire's efforts. We can continue there. We can start the world quest as well. <laughs> and we started the Toxic Lake Garrison. Lovely. Okay, so we start off in the Brel sediment. Um, the place is looking a hell of a lot more subdued than if you play as a player of the Republic. It's already, it's normally just a bit brighter, and then the Empire came. So of course we have the Brel sediment here. We may need to go into the Tularan Marsh, but we're probably going to be heading north at some point into the Sinking City, and then heading west into the Republic Resettlement Zone, where the dedicated spaceport happens to be, which I think it's like here somewhere. 
evil way. And uh, let's see what the situation is. So we need to find our contact. Uh, he is actually in the garrison itself. The Empire really destroyed this place, huh? I mean, you'd think in a few centuries the Republic would have rebuilt something. Yeah, you'd think, but no. Let's find this captain. Welcome to Taurus, my lord. I'm Captain Hellid, Imperial Military Command. Your arrival was unexpected. The Supreme Commander of Imperial Forces on Taurus has requested a word. Darth Gravis, the new arrival. I sense your presence. Such mastery of the Force is rare and impressive. Care to lend your lightsaber to Taurus's destruction? What's happening here? It's simple, really. The Republic's trying to rebuild Taris. We are here to demolish it. If you desire to stand by my side and serve the Empire, swat down the Republic artillery firing on our base. I'll crush every Republic weapon I see. Seek me out when the artillery's in pieces. Then we'll discuss your role in the greater conflict. Okay, Darth Gravis, the Supreme Commander of the Imperial Assault on this world. So, there are three known artillery pieces currently attacking this garrison. Uh, we'll go deal with them now, because I think we need to do them before we lo unlock potentially more side and exploration missions. So there may be a, another player doing likewise. All oh, the enemies aren't spawning in, which has also happened. Let's be aware of the danger. Bone, ah, yeah, there's a an Imperial Sniper. He's also having a bit of fun with the uh, artillery pieces here. Ah, oh, well. Oh, and there's the bonus complete. Happy days. Oh, 
we are. That's our task complete. Nice and straightforward. Plenty of more Republic to deal with though in the near future. I can't recall where we need to travel. It's been a while. Well, it's been, what, four, four and a half years since uh, I last played it as an Inquisitor here on Taris, so... We'll have to see, um, by speaking to Elios, where we need to go to look into this Force Ghost. We do have the weekly heroic mission terminal here. The Republic artillery is in pieces, Darth Gravis. I hope you enjoyed yourself. The Republic infestation is slowly rebuilding Taris. Left untreated, we'll be faced with a military staging point and symbol of Republic fortitude. I'm back, Master. I slaughtered every one of them, then crushed their artillery. A fascinating story. Unfortunately, the true destroyer of the artillery stands before you. Fanavesh? Meet the latest addition to my circle. Hunt in my territory again, and you're dead. Is it my superior skills that make you uncomfortable, or that I can actually look good using them? That's it! Save your anger, Thana. We must focus our power to bring down the Republic's military leader, Com Order. He commands a battalion set to drive us off, Taris. Crack the foundation of Order's attack. It's the best way to stop him. No time for that. I'll attack the Republic weakling and end this standoff. No, Thana. Order is too strong. Stripping him of his battle resources is just the path to take. Republic troops are in short supply this far from the base, so Order's been arming Cathar settlers to attack us. The Cathar beasts are vicious enough without Republic weapons. They must be neutralized. The Cathar won't survive the day. You will mess the job up. I will lead the massacre. No, Thana. Your failure with the artillery has earned you a secondary assignment. As you wish, Master. Remove this Cathar threat. Then we'll be one step closer to Order's defeat. <laughs> so, we have this Fana Fresh, the Apprentice Lord under Darth Gravis. She doesn't like us, mainly because, well, we're a threat to her power and gaining the appreciation of her master. Let's have a look at her, shall we? People of interest. Born into wealth and privilege. She spent her childhood cultivating an explosive temper and is destroying everything she laid eyes on. Her parents try to suppress her power. And... The outcome of that was she was sent to the Sith Academy on Korriban. Vanna tore through her Sith trials and fellow acolytes at lightning speed, earning the attention of Darth Gravis. 
I see. I don't mind her so much as long as she doesn't try to steal our allocates. If she gets in our way, then... Well, as we've always said, Sif don't always work well together. Either way. Where are these Cathar settlers? Oh. Well, that's a terrible idea being so close by. Meanwhile... also locate our Sif contact. Ilios Malice, you were sent here to investigate a ghost. What did you discover? I am a busy man. I don't have time for... Oh, my lord, I... I forgive me. I didn't recognize you in your new wardrobe. So grand. This is a pleasant surprise. I have heard the most unfortunate rumors. You're better off not believing anything anyone says about me. Yes, of course. The grapevine does lie, doesn't it? Now, you are asking about the ghost, yes? Let me see. I assure you I've been hard at work assessing the situation. It's just the Jedi have been guarding the old Jedi Enclave very tightly. That's, um, that's where the ghost first appeared, you see. Have there been other appearances in other places? On the contrary, there have barely been any appearances at all. The ghost appears only sporadically. Not even the Jedi who guard the Enclave can make it appear. They've resorted to using a young Padawan to try and draw the ghost out through blood ties or something. Foolishness if you ask me, but I'm a man of meager understanding. Why do the Jedi care if the ghost appears? My understanding is the ghost doesn't need to appear to be felt, and the Jedi don't like the dark side lingering in their enclave. It seems if the Padawan can make the ghost appear, they can cleanse it or whatever it is Jedi do with ghosts. It seems the Jedi have a weak link. The Jedi guard her closely, but I think you may be on to something. Many a Sith is formed from a weak Padawan's impressionable mind. I can't imagine an impressionable young Padawan being able to resist your particular charms, and it would save you the trouble of fighting a small army of Jedi. I cannot twist her until I understand what tempts her. You might visit the Jedi training grounds by the waterfall. It's abandoned now, dangerous. The data recorders there may hold certain insights into her personality. In the meantime, I will endeavor to learn what I can of her Jedi masters. So this Padawan may have had a Sith Lord in her ancestry if the just Jedi Conclave is a being tainted by the dark side. How curious. So, oh, okay. Data banks are relatively close by. Okay. Let's see what we can learn of this Padawan. Ooh, there's a quest nearby. Good. Okay. Tainted water. It's a health. Blah. Speaking of health hazard warnings, decide to choke. Taris's water supply is a hotbed of parasites, disease, and pollutants. Waterborne diseases kill hundreds of settlers a day. This glorious trend must continue. The Republic knows a quenched army is an entrenched army. Without clean drinking water, they will never gain a foothold on Taras. This is why they move to attack the planet's pollution. Republic droids have begun rebuilding an old filtration plant. General Farvin calls upon your services. Disable the filtration plant, destroy the droid repair team, and Taras's water will poison would be settlers for centuries to come. Okay, and the filtration plant is relatively close by. I approve.
Okay, the first day the bank is relatively close by. Oh, we have another sorcerer here. Also looking looking into the situation. Take that. Okay, there's no bonus mission for dealing with the Nexu at least. Good to know. Droid. Calm down, Ashara. There is no emotion. There is peace. Try it again. I tried. I tried already. I can't do it. Trust in the Force, and even the oldest and sturdiest of walls may be pulled down. Forget this. If there really are Sith on Terrace, we should be fighting them, not sitting here daydreaming. Patience, Ashara. One must empty oneself of emotion and find the peace with which to act in the Force. Now, try again. Hmm, how curious. She's, uh, perhaps a bit impatient to make progress. Maybe overly emotional. We could certainly make, a uh, take advantage of such a thing. No trouble at all. deal with these armed Kafar settlers. Another achievement there. Happy days. works out perfectly. Let's just watch. <laughs> good, good. So we do need to go back to Darth Gravis now. Our task is complete. But let's go hit this filtration plant first. We need to destroy some equipment, the reclamation droids, and find a... Overseer droid. Guess what that's doing. The Overseer droids right at the back of the facility. Ooh, a new bit of mail. Looks like some of the equipment has been destroyed. We'll head deeper, since we want to do deal with the Overseer droid anyway.
is the bonus mission complete. Cages here. Big pile of bones. Victory needed. Bloody hell. We need to find some machinery that isn't destroyed. Perfect. Right, um. Tell you what, we'll go back and speak to Darth Gravis before we head and get to the uh, second data bank. Now that the Cathar are dealt with, how else can we deal a blow to this calm order? The Cathar's fighting days are over. Let their deaths be an example to those who would try to rebuild Taris. If only Thana were here to observe your swift victory. I'm back, and I brought a friend. He's one of Order's guards. I had some fun with him. It wasn't until I killed his buddies that he finally talked. I'm dying of suspense. Really. Go on, officer. Spill your story. And no whimpering this time. Commander Orda. He's got walkers hidden near his base. They'll ambush anyone who attacks. That's all I know. Please release me. Okay, okay. The walkers can't be detected by probes. Only Orda's top operatives have the coordinates, and they're encoded. Is this the best you can find, Thana? A lowly officer with second-hand information. He's all we need, Master. I'll attack Order's base myself and rip those walkers apart. Take them out before we attack. Then Order will be defenseless. Sneaking around won't do us any good. On the contrary, Thana. We must crush Order's walkers before storming his base. You'll find them by slaying his operatives for their coordinate codes. His men have gunned down many Imperials, so don't hold back. With the coordinates, our bomber squadrons will decimate the walkers. I can't wait to feel the aftershocks. Thank you. Such a mission demands only the best. Thana, wait here and train for our assault against Order. No, I've wasted enough time enslaved to you, Gravis. Enjoy your new pet. <laughs> and my apprentice breaks her leash. Thana's strength with the Force is magnificent. But she's only focused when prodded into a rage. And I see she's abandoned her poor friend. We'll have to dispose of him. Wait, please don't hurt me. I... I told you everything I know. Trade him to the Republic for their captives. In the meantime, don't rough him up. Hmm. A fine idea. He'll make a good bargaining chip. Kill the operatives. Then hand their coordinates over to Major Nost, the head of the Imperial Bomber Command. He's already stationed at our outpost. I look forward to hearing of the walker's destruction. <laughs> hey! And renowned rank 9. Happy days. Yeah. Fana's only good with the force when she's stoked into a rage. Quite, quite like it. Quite a few Sif, actually. Many Sif are like that. But if you let your passions get a hold of you, 
be quite easy to be uh, manipulated. Do you require medical attention? Be well. Okay, so the walker's coordinates. Sorry, you, we can obtain the walker's coordinates from the west there. Who has them? Shadow operatives, right? Okay, guess we'll be heading on heading in that direction. Is there? Well, we might as well. There is a route out of this garrison to the north as well, but we'll travel south as we need to also learn more about this Padawan. Oh, while we're here, let's see what that mail is all about. Oh! Uh, yeah, no thanks. Ah, uh, gold spammers. I was going to say, I don't know anyone called Benki. <laughs> it's somewhere around here. Oh, next to the downed freighter. Okay. States, there is no passion, there is serenity. Can anyone explain what this means? Ashara. It means the Jedi must be prepared to think calmly, even in intense situations. Passion is a tool of the dark side. There is no emotion, there is peace. It also means Jedi should temper their intuition with wisdom. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. Very good, Ashara. So you see, this line of the code ties earlier elements of the code together. Hmm. next to, uh, what's it called again? If I move closer, it might actually tell me, remind me. The old uh, toxic refineries. I wonder if there's still an Imperial base here. Right, we're looking for the third data bank. Oh, this seems promising. Give me your best shot. Relent. That's an order. But I was winning. You must learn restraint. Varric is clearly not your equal. There was no reason to press the attack. We're training for war. The Sith won't surrender. We have to drive them back with everything we've got. These are not Sith. They are fellow Padawans. You show great potential, Ashara. But you must temper your fervor for the light with patience. Hmm... She's eager. Oh, the hell.
somewhere in here. Aha. I wonder if we had to go in here for another reason. Ah, oh, well, no matter. Well, we have found what we're looking for. Varric, Eli, and Cassius will be in the assault group. The rest of you will be support. Any questions? Then take your positions. Master Ryan, I think you put me in the wrong group. You are in the support group, Ashara. You will provide backup to the assault team. That's what I mean. I should be on the assault team. Varric can barely hold a lightsaber. Learning to support your fellow Jedi is an important skill. Varric lacks your confidence, and so requires your compassion and encouragement. But Master Ryan... Enough, Ashara. You have received your instructions. Join the others if you wish to complete your trial. <laughs> we'll uh, get out of this protectorate before we uh, answer our hollow communicator. I found the data banks. Our Padawan has a bit of a pride problem. She is a less than perfect Jedi candidate. Most excellent. In my experience, pride and insecurity go hand in hand. My lord, you went searching for crumbs and discovered a feast. She feels as though the Jedi don't trust her strength. I must show her that I do. Hmm. Yes, excellent thinking. Promise her power or wealth, something to win her trust. Let me think, what could we use? There must be something tempting to a young Padawan. Do you have any suggestions? Well, my lord, I am hardly an expert on this sort of thing, but let me think. Ah, yes, here we are. This outpost here used to be occupied by the servants of a powerful Sith. Supposedly, they left behind a holocron when they abandoned the site in haste. Its contents are probably beneath you, but what Padawan isn't tempted by the lure of forbidden knowledge. You have a devious mind. I like it. I am only glad that I can please you, my lord. Of course, you will need to find the holocron first. The abandoned outpost is in a nearby region. I'll transfer the location, but be warned, it's swarming with rat ghouls and other monstrosities. Okay. So we can gift this holocron to the Padawan. Hmm. Right. Holocron is up in Transport Station 5. Great. Ah, looks like there may be, indeed, a Sith base of operations just to the north here. Right, Transport Station 5 is a lovely place where most Republic players end up for their final uh, quests while they're here. Oh, 
Oh, this is the Bomber Command Post. Okay, perfect. Let's go deal with those Shadow Operatives then. And then we'll come back this way. So we have a bonus to defeat 10 of the Republic Protection Forces. for these hidden walkers. Okay. Let's head back to Bomber Command. I think actually that may be the compound we need to infiltrate. Could be wrong. But first things first, let's deal with the walkers that we can't tag via probe droids. Major. I have the walkers' coordinates. Darth Gravis wants them blown to pieces. Gladly. Imperial Bomber Command never disappoints. My lord, I'm transmitting the coordinates to my bombers now. They're ready to strike Alder's walkers at your command. Excellent. Hither now, Major. Pardon me, Lord Gravis. It's your apprentice. She's taken Imperial forces, launched her own attack against Commander Order. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. We'll deal with her. Thana's volatility is both a strength and a weakness. She'll destroy much, but she can't defeat order alone. Order's ruin demands my mastery of the dark side. He's defeated countless Sith. Be clever and wary. You'll find Order's base in an old purification facility. Tear down his defenses and find my rogue apprentice. Only together can you slaughter the Republic's leader. I can kill Order without her interference. You're truly so powerful. Prove it. End Order's life. And I'll add a special prize if you kill more soldiers than my wayward apprentice. <laughs> I think that is somehow linked to the, uh, the bonus. Okay, so Order's base is just up in the Tularan Marsh. Not a problem. Right. Um... There is an exploration and heroic mission here. I'm actually going to put them to one side. Um, I would do them, but I'm eager to hit the Tularan Marsh and kill Calm Order. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll deal with Order. And then there is a base at the uh, start of the Tularan Marsh. So we'll probably end up taking a break before we hit Transport Station 5. That's the plan, at least. Yeah, there is a, a facility that is containing a lot of uh, various toxins. 
Now, as a player of the Republic, you were meant to burn them off before they really affected uh, the, well, obviously, Taris as a whole. But a player of the Republic didn't quite be as thorough as they should have been. Some of those toxins are still there. And we are going to re well, we would release them as a player of the Empire. So we'll likely unlock the next Imperial Outpost. And then we'll go tackle this Republic Commander. That's the outpost there. This is the Border Assault Post. And there are a few quests here. As I say, we'll look into doing those later. Seems Fana has definitely been through here, killing some of her own uh, Republic troopers. So we have a bonus to defeat 10 of the Republic forces on the way in. <laughs> Healthy competition. The name of the quest. sealed. This is awkward. Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you doing here? Order's mine. Apparently not. You Sith are all alike. Quick to anger and quick to fall. The Republic will not fail here. Terrace will rise again. All I care about is your death, Order. Then you came this far for nothing. For the Republic! Can't destroy Terrace. The Republic's too strong. Oh, my head. Cheap trick order. If you don't kill him, I will. So long, Order. Your Republic friends will join you soon. <laughs> I'd have slain him myself if you hadn't butted in. You'd be dead if I hadn't shown up. Delusions must help you sleep. Taris is crawling with Republic troops, and I'm ready to break bones. Goodbye, good riddance. <laughs> to be fair, I suppose we were partially to blame for distracting her. Maybe she could have avoided a grenade, but she let her guard down. It's her own bloody fault. Ooh. I killed Order. Thana was out cold for the entire fight. The Republic will be shaken by his death. Thana contacted me after your skirmish. She was eager to report the details of her blood bath. But despite her best efforts, you've killed more Republic soldiers. Such carnage deserves recognition. It was a pleasure. A good weapon and fresh Republic prey. The only ingredients for fun you'll ever need on Talus. With order dispatched, I can finally focus the Empire's might on demolishing this wretched planet. The Republic's making a stand in the old sewer system. We must crush their pathetic operation to proceed. Speak to Melkor Din at our outpost. Help him slay the sewer's mutated denizens and drive out the Republic. And watch out for Thana. I doubt she'll welcome seeing you. Yeah, no kidding. Melkor Dane is... Ah, perfect. At this border assault post. Ideal. Ready to go. Uh, can we quick, quick travel there? Yes, we can. Right, what we'll do is we'll get ourselves back to this outpost. And when we come back, we'll see what quests we can pick up. And see how else we can help out the Empire with their activities on Taris. Hmm. Let's have a look at this girdle. Not something I normally say. Hmm. Not greatly detailed. Not a fan of it, actually. Looks interesting, but just the mesh on it's, uh. Hmm. Oh well. Use all products only Disappointing, ended. shall we say. Oh well, so let's just park ourselves here for a moment. Uh, there you go, that's better. Right, let's have a look at this renowned cash. Uh, no, we can disintegrate these. Happy days. Right, so yeah, we'll take a break here. And as I say, when we come back, we'll be here in the Tularan Marsh. And we'll see how we can help out the Empire's efforts. In addition, we need to pop into Transport Station 5 and grab this Sith Holocron. See if we can tempt a Padawan with it. 
Either way, once again, thank you all for joining me. Feel free to comment if you so wish, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.